So dear friends, we once again thank God to allowing us to stand at, at this table for us to celebrate together the message of Christ, the love of, of Christ, the healing of Christ upon us, the wisdom and strength of Christ upon us. May we, as Jesus indicated or answered the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the Herodians, that we should love God with all our hearts, with all our soul, and with all our mind. And may we love one another as we stand at this table together as a family, the body of Christ, that it's not a pretense, but it comes from the heart, it comes from the soul, and it comes deep from our conscience and hearts and minds. Dear friends, we, the church has identified this Sunday, the 30th Sunday of the year, as the day to pray for the Bible Society, uh, to, to give thanks to God for the word that we read and for those uh, who distribute um, the word of God as in the Bibles. So we pray for all those who uh, toil diligently to see to it that the church, the body of Christ, has the word of God as in Bibles. We also, as indicated, are praying for our, our children, especially those who are preparing for their metric examinations. We, we are also praying for, we know that during this time, it's farewells, it's retreat dances, it's all those uh, occasions and celebrations. May, may these things take place knowing fully well that they could be a source of infections. Because if we do not adhere to the protocols and guidelines, uh, of how to prevent COVID-19 pandemic, we may be finding ourselves in great danger, as it has been indicated that we are, we are soon to face a second wave or a second surge. So we pray for those who are having year-end functions. We also pray for the people in our country, as we see, people are just relaxed. People have started partying uh, without uh, adhering to protocols. People gathering in great numbers. People having rice. It's good to have those things. But can't we wait? Can't we be patient? And so we pray for responsible citizenship among the people of God in our country, especially among us as Anglicans, that we may be good exemplary when it comes to these things. Dear friends, we can feel how terribly hot it is. It's scorching hot. It's in the morning, early in the morning, but it's very hot. And these are the effects of global warming, the effects of uh, the change of temperatures, the change of uh, uh, the, the, the fight against, uh, maybe the pandemic against the, the environment. So we, we're going to use the one of the uh, seasons of, of creation um, Thanksgiving prayer in asking God to hear our prayer so that we do not perish in this difficult uh, seasons of 
inclination, uh, inclination of weather. We have seen in the Free State, uh, in the areas of Boshov, Boshov that uh, there is a fell fires taking place there, that the crops are gone, that even uh, livestock has been terribly affected. So we pray uh, for God's mercy upon his creation. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. You spoke the word, you spoke the world and all that is in heaven on earth. All things came to be. Your spirit hovered over the primal elements and you brought forth life in forms unmeasurable including this our fragile earth and we amongst its inhabitants as our past is in you so our hope for the future rests with you as we have turned from your way so we turn again to the warmth of your love through you all things are brought to new life and now we give you thanks for the glory, glories of your creation given into our care and for the opportunities we have to share that richness with all your people. And so with the wonders of creation and the songs of praise of all your creatures, both in heaven and on earth, we praise you now and forever, saying, Heilach, heilach, heilach Heer, God van kracht en macht, die hemel en aarde is vol van u heerlijkheid, Hosanna in de hoogste. Gesiend is hij wat kom in de naam van die Heer, Hosanna in de hoogste. In the night that Jesus was betrayed, Jesus took bread, work of human hands, gift of our earth, and gave thanks to God. He broke the bread to speak to us of the breaking of his body upon the cross. He gave it to his friends and said, Take and eat, for this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus took the wine, work of human hands, gift of our earth, and gave thanks to God, Creator. He poured out the wine to speak to us of the pouring out of his blood. He gave it to his friends, saying, This is my blood of the new covenant, shared for you and for all creation. For the forgiveness of sins. Every time you drink of the wine, do this in remembrance of me. So we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christeo Shwele, Christeo Tsuhile, Christe Otlawela Aitla. Therefore, we who seek your reconciliation, we who need reconciliation one with another, we who hope for reconciliation with all creation, draw close to this mystery. In being broken, spilled and buried, life sprang forth again. In the breaking, there is an opening up. In the spilling, they are the roots of sharing. In death and burial, there is the seed of the new life to come. As we look in our world, 
in our lives and in our hearts for his coming for his second coming keep us close to this vision that we have seen through the giving in the bread and wine reconcile us to our world send upon us and upon all your creation the life giving spirit who first moved upon the waters of the deep stay in us the creative and redeem the destructive unite us with you through the body and blood of your son your word made flesh by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of your creative spirit with all that has been is and will be in your universe we stand before you and worship you god of all in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen As Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Tato ya hau ye tsue le fatsing, kalo ka ye tsua le hotimo. Refe ka jeno ko habe barona, ba tsatsi le 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 le. Ore tsare le di be tsarona. And lay on me and frustrating me. Mar for lost ons fan di bosse van an e behoort di kunen reik en di krach en di heerlijkheid tot in eeuwigheid amen wo habe wo rebo watan na hasu abelana mele wa kristena we who are many are one body for we all partake of the one bread creator god meet us in this bread and wine and be with us on the journey which is the future that we and all creation may make a new the story of life and all that is may live to praise and magnify your name for ever people of god draw near in faith and travel far in grace the body of christ amen Akin sale la palaka zamele ginte dimpos de voce bao re amanan de bona mele wa kreste amen Akin sa anabesu garu dice si a free state mele wa kreste amen Bakin sabo ste ba se be le tsang phatlalatso ya le ntse la ntse tsi modimo ha holo holo those working for the bible society the body of christ amen Bakin sabo tswa le le ohle ya mora ma Jesu ba kulang ba nang le mathata rapela le bantse maitlo ba itukise tsa di hlahlobo tsa mafelo a selemo the body of christ amen the blood of christ amen
And so we say the spiritual communion. Mawa waha kreste, queen sepise, mele waha kreste, umpulonke, madi aha kreste, antapulose, meti atwan mukabren waha kreste, antapise, ohisho yaha kreste, in tatafate, wena jesu yo mulimo, umkukwe. Un pitre moditen habito tahahu, o sentiselete ho haohana luena, un penele moma venio usula, un pite monaponia rosula me, un taile hota cohuena, corre to take a hobake, the white tepi bahahu, Cahosena Bukuto. Amen. And so we give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is gracious. God's mercy endures forever. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. So go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage, fight the good fight of faith, that you may finish your course with joy, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you in your hearts, rest and abide with you in your homes and families. Rest and abide with us in our communities. Rest and abide with us in our country. Rest and abide with us and save and protect us from the corona pandemic. Now and always. Amen. And so go out into the world rejoicing and encounter the Creator who waits to meet you there. Amen.